with coverage you can count on. Now your first Warren 5 forecast with meteorologist Brian Bachman. All right, good Monday evening, everyone. The new work week off to a little bit of a gray start, certainly a little bit wet in some locations today, but all these showers, as we've been alluding to over the course of the newscast, basically just precursors to the really main event of the heavy rain that'll be coming in later on tonight and then as we head into our Tuesday. So don't let that rain gear get too far out of reach just yet. Let's get a look at your first one. Five pinpoint Doppler radar in 3D at MBS tonight. You can see for the most part, it's just a couple of light sprinkles or lighter showers around the region. Most of them can find to uh, southern portions of Saginaw County as it stands right now, actually right around the vicinity of Chesoning right now. These generally lifting to the north. So around the I-75 corridor, just be mindful of those wet roads that will be out there tonight as these showers tend to lift northward, not only through Saginaw, but likely through Bay City as well. Another couple of showers moving through Tuscola County to the east of Vassar right now and one other slightly heavier shower to the north and west of Beale City. This also lifting to the north, so that'll scoot through portions of uh, western Clare County in the next couple of hours. But as you can see here on the wider view, a lot of that heavier rain, at least for the time being, staying well to our west over portions of Wisconsin. That, though, going to be changing as we go through the next 12 hours or so. Here's a look at things outside right now as they stand over downtown Saginaw. A little bit on the gray side, to say the least. Temperatures, though, nice and mild today, 65 degrees is the current temperature in downtown Saginaw. The humidity levels up there, so as we said, not enough you get to say it's muggy in the middle of October. The barometer starting to fall as that storm system approaches our region. Next stop in Bay City, pretty much a similar story right now, but fairly peaceful at a temperature around 65 degrees and also around the vicinity of Flint. Actually a little bit warmer there. Current temperature up to 68 degrees. You notice the roadways, at least in this area, mostly dry, at least for the time being. But of course, with those scattered pockets of drizzle and lighter rain out there, just pay extra attention on the drive home tonight. Temperature wise, we're starting to see that warm front lifting through the region and you can basically tell it's almost splitting mid Michigan right in half right now. You have some low 60s out toward Port Hope and Bad Axe, 64 at Cara right now. There's that 68 we mentioned in Flint and some low 60s or upper 50s to the north as well. This whole system will tend to lift northward. So take a look at these much milder temperatures that's trapping to the south over parts of Ohio, mid 70s in Columbus, up to 70 degrees now in Detroit. Now temperatures will tend to kind of fluctuate between a couple of degrees here in our area over the next couple of hours. There's that initial line of showers that moved through this morning, basically breaking up to some lighter shower activity. But here's the main event with that heavy rain lifting into portions of Wisconsin, across Illinois as well. It's all part of this low pressure system that's going to be making its way to the north and east over the next couple of days. That'll push that milder air into the region, at least initially. But then it'll also ultimately drag that heavier rain, as we'll see here on your first one five hour by hour forecast. So a little bit of a break this evening. Here's midnight tonight. Maybe a couple of showers starting to move in to some of the more northern and western parts of the area, say around Houghton Lake, Mount Pleasant, Clare. Then the main event starts to swing in tomorrow morning. Here's 8 a.m. Some heavy rain starts to push through and it's with us for a good portion of the day. Here's three o'clock. Scattered heavy downpours, also a possibility of some thunderstorms mixed in there too. Then it starts to break down a little bit into tomorrow evening. We'll taper it off to a few scattered showers as we head into our Wednesday. And that pattern likely going to be persisting at least as far out as Thursday. So 62 for the overnight low tonight with those rain showers and maybe a thunderstorm. We'll have those Tuesday thunderstorms as we mentioned too, and just overall a very unsettled week ahead. We'll have more details on that for you coming up at six o'clock. Well, thank you very much. Lots of wet weather. I know, right? <laughs>